Uh, okay, so we're more or less live. We'll start the show in a moment. Let me just make sure Essex is in the chat, indeed. Okay, that looks good. Uh, episode 19? 19. I never know. Best number. 19 is a good number. Yeah. Uh, I keep meaning to make one of these in a podio. Uh, I said podio. In a podcast form, just to see what it sounds like. Might be all right. Cleaner, at least. Wouldn't have as much... What I just called too many crusts. Cut off the ends and... Clean it up just a bit, but that's fine. This is a live stream show, which means greetings, friends. Steven here. Welcome to the KMAX Toycast Live. This is episode 19. It's Friday night. Woo! October 20th, 2017. Yes. I'm joined once again with Essex. Essex Good evening, on. everyone. <laughs> okay, so Kellum, Kellam, Kellen. Is that, is, that, is that your first name? That's the first name. Okay. You know, it's funny. I was at... Um, I was at Cherry Bomb Toys the other day, and B approaches me and said, You know Kellum. Uh, <laughs> uh, Essex, yeah, I do know him. And it was kind of weird because he didn't mention how he knew that I knew you. I don't know if he watches the show or if he saw via Twitter. I don't know. Uh, I don't think we're on Facebook, are we? Or are we no. friends on Facebook? Do you use Facebook? I never use Facebook. I barely use Facebook. Yeah, okay. Barely. So don't feel bad. It's nothing personal. <laughs> yeah, it's like, uh, yeah, uh, that's kind of weird, but hey, yeah, I do. And uh, he mentioned that you used to volunteer there, which you've mentioned before as well. <laughs> Anyways, uh, so this is the official Cat Max Toy Beast live stream show where we talk about all the stuff we've bought recently. We're usually toys. Well, I might sneak in a game or two. I've got some Amiibo. We can talk about that real quick. I do too. <laughs> Excellent. Excellent. And we talk about the things we've picked up, the uh, things we've been looking for but haven't found, maybe some news. We don't know if we have any news this week, but we can talk about uh, the recent toy show and just what that experience is all about. And uh, we've got an hour, so let's get going. Mm -hmm. uh, Six, if the folks want to find you on the social media, where can they go? Not Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm on <laughs> Facebook, but I'm not adding anyone because it's just friends and family. So. Uh, but uh, everywhere, it's Instagram, it's Twitter, it's Tumblr, it's all at SX Alpha. It's pretty easy. There you go. Excellent. And of course, I am Steven. Thank you for... Is anyone in the chat? No one's in the chat yet. Uh, thanks for watching live. If you do show up live or watching it later, of course, I am Steven. Check me out on Twitter at Steven Eider. Steven with a V E I D H E R. If you want to watch me play video games live, check me out on Twitch, CatMax underscore gaming, all one word. After this, maybe later tonight, I might stream some of The Last Guardian because I want to finish that game and get it off the back <laughs> backlog. I hate that game, but I want to keep going. You can just sell it to me after you're done because I really want to play that game. <laughs> I might do that. I need to I need to do some more downsizing, some culling, because uh, it's getting pretty crowded in here and I'm pretty poor again. Yeah. But we'll get into that when we talk more about the, the toy show. Yeah. Anyways, uh, let's... Uh, might be distracted by anything. We got a Twitter open here. Let me just close that. Ossie might show up in the chat. He likes, he likes us. And I got my picture open for uh, pickup purposes. Nice. And... Okay, good. Okay, uh, yeah, let's start off with some pickups. Essex, do you have some pickups for us tonight? Oh, oh, do I ever. Oh, my God, it's been a good week. Deliveries, Excellent. deliveries, deliveries. You um, promised us lots and lots of pickups in the last episode. Yes. We'll start with the not Transformers, because that's usually where I start off with. Mm -hmm. Grabbed a couple of Lego dudes, found some Lego Batmans. Okay, is that the Red Hood? That's the Red Hood. Sweet. He looks like Spider-Man a bit. <laughs> He's kind of like Spider-Man. I like it. Yeah. And then I got uh, Catman. Who? <laughs> Looks like Wolverine. One of the first appearances of Catman was actually a comic book I got as a kid. It was like my first like collector's comic. So okay. I always got a warm spot for Catman. Okay. Is it is that DC? I've not... Yeah, it's DC. Interesting. Catman. Hey, what else I get? I grabbed these from the dollar store because I grabbed some snacks and a drink before I got here, so I figured eh, might as well get these. They're two dollars each. Couple more of those stupid, ugly little transformer things. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so there's no um. On. There's exactly that was. I couldn't even tell. Know, is right? there um, is there any codes on those baggies at all? You know, I've never even bothered. Really? <laughs> yeah. Fair enough. And then the other one, 
is Prime Optimus Prime. Okay. I like that they have stands. Yeah, stands are good. It's convenient. Like you were saying, Amiibo. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. My Amiibo is Cloud Strife. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I didn't buy him. I don't care. I was never a big Final Fantasy VII fan. Oh, love my Final Fantasy VII. Mm. So when he showed mm. up again, I was like, yeah, I better grab him. Yeah. And he was only 10 bucks, so. Well, that's good really, deal. That's not too bad. Mm-hmm. All right. Now we get into the bots. Where should we start? Where should we start? Well, um, I'll probably do chronological order. So first thing that showed up, we both got lucky with this in the past week, was the clone two-pack. Mm-hmm. Cloud Ranger <laughs> Top Spin. I haven't even transformed mine yet. Oh, no. Oh, they're fun. Good yeah. little pocket bots. Wingspan. Mm-hmm. Excellent little bot. Tell the people where we got them from. EB Games. Oh, what? I got the only one in town. A video <laughs> game store selling Transformers. Whoa! Finally, I've been asking them. I was like, they sell all these random toys. Like, why not Transformers? Hopefully, it keeps coming because I don't mind having a third option to buy my Transformers from them. <laughs> Tell me about it, right? Yeah. Talk about easy money. It's like, come on, guys. Yep. It's not like you have much competition. Um, but the better of the two, in my opinion, is Cloud Raker. This is a fun pocket bot. Yeah. I like this guy. I've got the, uh, what is it? The, uh, not Wingspan, but the other one. The Tiger. Pounce. Sure. And eh. his uh, beast mode is pretty rough. Yeah, it's nothing special, but I got him too. I had them yeah. both together because you got to have your clones. Yeah. But no, I look forward to getting um, Fast Track because mm-hmm. this little guy is awesome. Really like it. Great jet mode. I mean, it's it's a robot kind of splitting and yeah. doing some things. Not really much of a transformation, but it's still zoom zoomy enough that it's fun. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I do love Legion Glass. Yes. All right. Next delivery Ideal was. Deal for desk bots. Yeah. Amazon delivery was next. Mm-hmm. And finally, after months and months of coveting yours, <gasps> I have Ooh. my Titan Returns Megatron. Yes. Pretty sweet. He's pretty good. I hey, you got the gun on differently. Yeah, I make it a little longer. Mm. I like it a little longer. Mm-hmm. Nope. Good bot. Love the jet mode. I feel like he could easily be like retooled into a leader one with that jet mode. It looks like leader one. I, I can see that. Yeah, he's the, he's already pretty, pretty much the same color. Pretty much, right? Yeah. And then to and go cheaper, with him, cheaper than the uh, the return of the Gobot line, uh, which are so small. Fun. They're expensive and small. They have the stand and all the pieces for that, like good for accessories, but just very small. They're they're basically Legion class. I but think at, if I had seen them in but person, leader, I probably would have picked them up. Mm-hmm. If I saw a few of them in person, I'd probably grab them. But paying for shipping on top of that is not no. worth it to me. Spacey is coming out for the uh, Return of GoBot, and that one hmm, I do like. I mm. like the look at that one. And then they're doing a deluxe um, bike robo or psych hill. So is he just bigger, or is He's he just bigger? Oh. He's more based off the like Super GoBot one. Okay, that's yeah. cool. Yeah, I saw that they did another one. Couldn't figure out why they were doing another one, but if it's a different size class, everyone loves psych hill. Yeah. <laughs> Although I wish they do more of the original Machine Robo or GoBots before they go into remaking the ones they've already got. True. True. Like, where's my freaking Comptor? Come on. He's, he's right here. Come on. He's right, right, right there. Come on, give nah. it. Give it. Give it. That was fun. Fun purchase. <laughs> he's missing his copter, but you know how it goes. I'm just glad his old cockpit glass is still there. Yeah. All right. Next one. Yeah. He's, he's got paint on him. Oh, what's happening? <laughs> Jump her hand. You can tell you look at the hand. It's like, oh, oh my yeah. god, there's, there's paint on the hand. Paint on what the year hand. is this? Does have decent paint on his head too, because I saw one in Walmart like two days before mine came, mm. and the paint was rough. Mm. Really it pays, rough. It pays to take a look at them. Yeah. Well, it was nice that the one that showed up in the mail had good paint. So yes. I mean, the visor paint is a little bit low, but other than that, it's pretty good. Okay. Yeah, right. The next delivery that came was all the way from Hobby League Japan, my favorite Japanese toy store, mm-hmm. without a doubt. How much um, is the shipping on average again? Like 15, 20 bucks. Yeah. 
I paid twenty five for expedited with FedEx. Yeah, how many? That's like a couple days, really. Five quick. days. Five days. Mm. Five days. Was it a lot of a lot of merch? Uh, it was three. Yeah, yeah. But I wanted yeah. them now. Yeah, fair <laughs> enough. Fair enough. All right, so shark to kill. Mm-hmm. You know. Um, excellent, excellent paint. Um, a lot of gunmetal sparkly gray Mm -hmm. on the top of them that really, really pops. Uh, the silver teeth are excellent. Um, the one thing that gets me, I put this on Twitter. A lot of people were like, "Holy crap!" (laughs) Where the insides of his legs, yeah, (laughs) have a few different colors of paint. They're just Barely showing off. Ever gonna see it? There's gunmetal gray, there's blue, and then purple because the plastic is gray. Well, you know what it is. They've got competition in Japan. Here, it's like, it's like, who do we have to impress? Nobody. We can charge any <laughs> price and they'll keep paying. It's also did you, about twenty bucks a bot. So, did you hear this might be another price hike for uh, Power of the Primes? Yeah, I hear it's gonna be the same as the movie toys. Gross. Yeah. Gross. Yeah. I hope it's just them, the Americans, catching up with our price hikes, but I don't know. That would know. be nice, but usually mm-hmm. it goes along with. Because they didn't get, um, did they get the movie bot price hike that we did? They got movie bot price hike, but they only got it like a couple dollars. Like they got like a $5 price hike and a $2 price hike. So hmm. they really didn't feel the burn like we did where everything jumped 10 bucks. Mm hmm. Or in the case of the leaders, tw- fifteen bucks. Gross. Yeah. I was just like, I, I am honestly scared to see what that, um, what the uh, movie Primus would cost here because <laughs> I remember buying that off the shelf for sixty dollars. Cybertron. Gotta go for like two hundred bucks now at least. Have you ever seen him in stock anywhere? The movie one? No, never. Yeah. Those G two colors. <laughs> never right. seen it. To go with no came mm. my little sweep head that's already on a body. Mm-hmm. It's an American body, but it's good. Mm. I like his upside down mustachio. It's pretty great. Mm. Good, good little head. And then good we'll go with the not as drastic retool of the two Legends Hot Rod. Uh, yeah. 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 Um, nice remolding on the chest. Excellent color scheme. Mm-hmm. It's all about the target masters. Yeah. These things are great. Great, great, great little toys. Hmm. Um, more complex transformation than you would think. It's actually about three, four steps than like just done. Yeah. I would think like yeah, like mini con transformation. Yeah, yeah that looks That's pretty cool. good actually. Yeah. We're really having sharp really sculpting. Mm-hmm. And a lot of paint. Again, a lot of paint. Show them off. And then the final one, again, a big dramatic repaint remold with Legends Cup. Yeah, definitely. Wow. It's just like Blur all over again. <laughs> like, Blur all he did was paint. So to see the night and day between the two figures was astounding what you could do with the paint. Mm-hmm. Um, Cup gets a new head and some new shoulders and arms. And he is insanely better. It's just, it's night and day. It is absolutely night and day. You put them next to each other, and you're like, dollar store, actual good toy. Yeah. 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 Japan. Glorious Nippon. Yes. And then I have a couple more coming in the mail. So hopefully, next time we do this, I'll have more. Damn. That's plenty. Yeah. And I'm surrounded with them already. My own odds and ends. Exactly. So now it's time for your toy show pickups and all the other good stuff. Okay. Hmm. Where to start? Where to uh-huh. start? I'm surrounded. Uh, toy show. Actually, I'm going to start with um, something I've been waiting for since, what was it, May? Oh, Finally. yeah. There he is. That thing. That is Very the nice. uh, K.O. Leonidas, a.k.a. Leo Prime from Japanese Beast Wars, but done up in Evangelion Unit 1 color scheme. Very nice. Um, kind of tricky for balance. He's got, you can, you can definitely feel the die cast. 
But um, it comes with a stain and, uh, you know, those little things that stick to their back or whatever to keep them uh, afloat. Yep. Uh, it's definitely good to... Uh, I'll, I'll unbox it. I only really just unbox the main guy. But uh, he's got tons of accessories, so I'll have to uh, get all those out. Surprisingly crummy box. Um, oh. I saw the plastic clamshell, but I didn't see the box. Yeah. So here's the box. It just... It kind of has like a cheap Hong Kong bootleg mm. look to it. Like well, it's it not like... It's just... It's very meh. It's the most meh third-party box I've ever seen. Normally they're like really impressive cardboard like this one back here. That's for the MP10V Voyager size. That's a good box right there. This thing though is just like... Ugh. I'll flatten it. It doesn't deserve... It doesn't look good. Like this you image... Remember. It is a KO third-party toy. None still, cool. like yeah, the Kubian Bell box there, same thing, but that's still impressive. True. Th this thing, though. Hmm. Figure itself, though, that's what matters. Yeah. Like That's not a box you don't want to put on display, but the toy. Um, that's that's it, yeah. You know, basic black and white page. But uh, let me just make some space. I actually put all this stuff away, but then I'm like, oh, I need to show it off. But it's got, uh, make sure nothing falls, a bunch of parts here. It's got the little tail and some guns. A lot of this stuff, I don't even know where it goes yet, so. <laughs> Let's figure that out. And then here's more stuff. Here's the stand, some swords, a crossbow thingy. Nice. So, I think that was maybe 110 or 100. Let's say 110. So, you're getting a lot of uh, odds and ends for that amount. And like all the third-party things, it's very pointy in spots. Be careful. But you can feel the die cast, which is so important. Like his lion face, you can just lots of little sharp teeth there. I know he's got the die cast. How's the plastic feel? Yeah, it feels good. Good. I feel more metal than not, though, which is nice. Yeah, that's actually pretty cool. Yeah, but those legs, though, it's like it can be tricky. He's got the ball joints for ankles, and it kind of reminds me of uh, of that Optimus Prime I've had issues with. Yeah, uh, okay. Not quite. You gotta, you gotta really get the balance right, otherwise you can fall over real quick. Real quick. All right, I'll just go along as I find them. Here's one. Yeah. Metro. It's pretty cool. Um, it's funny because its head comes off because of um, like the same kind of Titan Master gimmick, but there's no little body in there. Kind of just looks like his spine. <laughs> yep. Like the head is just like his spine, so. Uh, yeah. So it's true to movie form. Yeah, basically. <laughs> Give me your face. Full of Optimus Prime action. Yeah, definitely uh, one of the very few movie bots that anyone I would highly recommend. Just cool dude. Gotta love the uh, the Cyclops look. Big, big jet arm blaster thing handgun over here that extends. Nice. Bigger handgun thing. Not much paint happening here, but I guess that's just more of a design. It's just a great jet, but there's there's bits and pieces. Sick abs. Mm -hmm. Thick legs, you know. Got little accessory missiles for his back. Cool. Cool dude. I saw him last week. I passed on him, and now he's gone. Yeah, that'll happen. Even, <laughs> like, if that's one of the very few movie bots that are actually in demand, I would say. Him and Cogman. Yeah. Cogman, I have not seen anywhere yet. Nope. I like that Cogman can sit two Titan Masters. That's pretty neat. Yeah. Can you think of any other vehicles that had two Titan Master seats? Not counting little pegs, but actual seats. Uh, yep. Six shot. Hmm. Six shot. Yeah, I guess that car mode has two seats. Yeah, I guess God Bomber would too. Then. Oh yeah, God Bomber has three. Yeah. Um, as you mentioned, uh, got the uh, Transformers thingy there, the uh, from EB Games, which is is great, and I hope they get more. I'd love to see Brainstorm show up there at some point. I hope to see mine show up at my door soon. <laughs> sure, no doubt. All right, so let's. Um, as mentioned, uh, I was at a toy show over the weekend, and it made me broke real quick. Uh, I spent almost two hundred bucks at that. So once again, I'll just grab stuff and show it off. Here's a G1 Six Shun. Nice. I got a lot of stuff. I did a video and up. Yeah, pickups video where we went over prices, but a lot of these were pretty well priced. So that's 
pretty much all of them there. He doesn't have his guns, but everything else. Like he's got the sick die cats on his back and all that. Some shiny chrome on the little tires. Pretty neat. I like yep. it. It says. I have both purchased and sold a G1 six shot at that same toy show. Nice. Uh, I got some box guys who I believe have been open, but I, I haven't opened them, but uh, they were put back and they're practically new. Ah. So this, that's a good one right there. Super jealous. Mm -hmm. I've wanted that guy for a while. Mm -hmm. That was like 10 bucks. This guy was my favorite seller by far. He had some great prices. Nice. <clears throat> and, uh, this one, this is one I've been looking for for a while. This is a lug nut. That is a good, good toy. Mm -hmm. I have I've got, I've got a thing for the Cyclops robots. They're all nice. super cool. Yeah, I've got that one and the Japanese version. They're both fantastic. Nice. Good. He looks pretty fight. cool. Is that uh, light piping in there? I hope. That is light piping. Thank God. That'll be fun. <laughs> Those over there. Here's the fancy purchase for $105. Still haven't opened him. You still haven't opened it. Oh. I know. I haven't even got the pieces out for uh, Leonidas or everyone. There's Ryder Despatron. I believe he's oh. more or less Voyager sized. Uh, very cool looking Megatron. Yep. Yeah, it turns into like this bitchin' ray gun thing. And yeah. So basically, everything I bought was about the price of this one toy. <laughs> So they got five bucks here, and then a hundred ish or so for everything else. So it makes you think. Yeah, you TFCon they showed off uh, some designs for their version of Galvatron, and oh my god, I need that toy. That'll be neat. All right, so we just have a bunch of loose stuff here. I did get a, a single Ninja Turtle. I got more last time. I didn't see too many that I wanted or really interested me. So here's a like a Samurai Leonardo. Good toy. Love that so, guy. You know, some fun detail there. He's got all the bits, I believe. Sword, little, little flag thing. Harness. Yes. Should have a sword and a flag and the shield. And you shield. complete. Mm -hmm. Seems to be all there. A lot of this stuff I haven't even had time to look over, though. Uh, here's a weird one. It's this little transforming shark man. Oh, that's what you were talking about. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so... There he is. This was two bucks. My God. My God. How can you how can you pass it? Yeah. So not much of a transformation there. His uh his old axe is also his top fin thing there. Oh cool. He's got little little like scuba glasses for the shark mode. And it's just this completely random thing from Bandai. It is Super Change series number eight. Shark -er, shark -er. So look at look at the spelling. Shark roar. Shark -er. Shark -er. Shark -er. And I'm not even sure what line this is from. It's like a, I think it's like a Tokugu Hatsu, whatever those common writer type things are. Yeah. Uh, Bandai. What can I what can I say? Down over there. Get all this over here. Real quick. What time is it? We got time. We got uh, time. Most recent Super Mario Amiibo came out, so I picked them both up because yeah. Nice. It's the working class. I got to support them. We got Goomba and Koopa Troopa. So there they are. Great figures. It's always nice to see a good new Amiibo show up. And the Goomba and Koopa Troopa designs are fantastic. Mm -hmm. Timeless. So I don't know if I have uh, games that'll work. I mean, they all do something in every game more or less. But I mean, what are they for? Mario Party? Yeah. Yeah. Maybe they'll do something fun in uh, Odyssey. Yeah, that I can see. That. Yeah, we just instantly become a Goomba or a Koopa Troop. Uh, moving back to toy show stuff. This was a neat one because, as we all know, I've got a thing for the monster bots. Here is G One uh, Grotusk. Very nice. That's like five, ten bucks once again for like for one of these guys this size. Like normally, I would pay five, ten bucks for like a smaller one, but this pretty sweet. If you don't mind not having wings in the little gun backpack thing, you get some good uh, good deals. Actually, um, I guess it was last up. I was, I was showing off the G1 uh, Skull Smasher Crusher thing. Yep. The one that was missing a leg, and I'm sure I saw one there. That was like five bucks with all the pa all the pieces. Maybe not the head, but all the limbs. I was like, ah, damn. <laughs> damn. 
because this is uh most of the time when i find this stuff it's just at a thrift store or something so figures can't be choosy but toy show man can we get some better deals and more limbs <laughs> more limbs here's a couple of these it's the transformers prime first edition star screen in original color and dark energon color which is also yeah is that Skywarp? Is it or is it just the uh, Arms Micron Thundercracker? Or not Thundercracker, um, Skywarp. Skywarp. Yeah. I, I want to say it's Derek Energon. I know uh, Eric, who's been on the show before, we just showed off one of these, but I don't know the details. It actually has unique missiles. They're like bombs. Though I don't know if those even came with this one because they're not the ones that came with the other one. I'm pretty sure that's the Arms Micron. I'm pretty sure you got a Japanese one right there. Nice. Okay. Yeah. I'm, I'm quite sure. Okay. Well, yeah, I'll, we'll, we'll look into it. Um, yeah, these these two, like, same guy that sold me a lot of these other things. Very ch inexpensive. Nice. Just a couple bucks each. I'm like, hell yeah, I want those. Um, I'll go, We can go through the pictures when uh, we go in more into detail on the toy show itself. But he had a couple of neat things. He had this one really big uh, super robot thing, and I didn't buy it, but I was sure tempted. Uh, here's another line from my robot lion collection. It's a Nemesis Preaker, whatever he was called. You got it. I've got uh, the good version. I got two of them, so now I've got one of the evil version as well. Nice. And uh, it's not here, but his uh, cyber key was there as well. You got this little dude here. Ah. Like a, a tiny mini uh, combiner guy. He's one neat. of my childhood favorites. Had him. Mm -hmm. Played with him lots. Yeah. I was like, oh, you're adorable. It's adorable. I had to get the like you, you'll find these tables and it's just bruh, here's here's stuff Ugh, dig through that. stuff and pick out stuff so that was one such stuff along with that one i also got basic uh beast wars insecticon which is just completely forgettable green bug dude love that toy i think, <laughs> I think he's complete but he's got like some weapon or something i don't know if that's in there yeah he's got a weapon if it's stored anywhere it's in his little bug butt but should be a little uh, split mm. crossbow. Look, going to do two pieces and then it'll combine. Mm. I see the wings open up. I don't think it's in there. Looks like uh, I no. see holes. Yeah, not in there, sadly. Yeah, that's fine. Once again, usually those uh, first gen Beast Wars toys are missing their weapons. Yeah, not surprised. But once again, just a couple bucks. That's usually the best thing about these shows, just finding neat things you don't have yet. And that's a couple bucks. And that's a couple bucks. And that's a couple bucks. Oh, I know. But that's I still I have know. pictures of all my toy show hauls at that toy show, and it was all like, ah, oh, he's five bucks, he's five bucks, he's ten bucks, go! Mm-hmm. Here we have uh, ten, Tentacle, whatever his name is. No, that's yep. Pokemon. Uh, yes. Which one is this one? Skylord? Or what's his name? Oh. I don't know. Yeah, Beacon, <laughs> whatever he is. He's the Spooky guy. Cons? I still want to get the third party version of this, Thousand Kills. Nice. So it'll be fun to have the two of them standing together. But that's another $100 bot, and I definitely do not have the money for that at the moment. <laughs> yeah, this guy. It's Once again, it's the Car Robots Megatron. Still <sighs> missing bits, but he's got a lot more pieces than the one I had already. And I was kind of hoping I could mix and match and make one more complete Megatron. But I was looking at the joints and things, and a lot of them are like pins, not so much ball joints. Yeah, a lot of so them. So it'll be tricky to, uh, like, this one's missing uh, some parts that the other one has. So, uh, once again, inexpensive. But uh, it'd be great if I could find a way to put the two parts together. But at least he's got, like, he's got the tail thing on the back and his wings are complete and he's got the feet. The other one had doesn't even have feet. Oh, yeah. But that it's just a, such a what? spectacle. It's got, like, six forms or whatever. Five, six forms. Oh, it's got, like, eight or nine. Yeah. Some unofficial. Uh, uh, I have him when I just put him on the floor or something. He's, he's like a tripod with the wings in his feet. <laughs> and <laughs> before the toy show, here's that uh, Beast Hunters guy oh. who I ravaged for parts. Uh, he's actually only missing a leg, so I guess I could put him back together. The parts are here. He's got his, his arms <laughs> and his head over there. Poor guy. Yeah. And here's the uh, the gun for that uh, Megatron. Just uh, so there's more bits, more bits. 
And we get the Scourge. It's like Generation Scourge or something. It's like a stealth yep. bomber thing. So a lot of this stuff is still pretty much in the exact same form it was when I got it. Just haven't had the time to uh, get to it. And finally, here's something different. Uh, our local toy, um, our local dollar store has the only place I've seen these. Uh, it's Cars 3 Blind Baggy uh, Dice oh. Cars. So I've picked up four of these now. And, uh, they're actually really well detailed. I'd seen some certain YouTube channels show them off. Hmm. And the camera's not really picking it up all the while, but there's a lot of, like this one in particular is just covered in like racing stickers. Oh, nice. So there's tons of tiny detail in this pretty small car. And it's more or less all die cast. I don't think there's anything that isn't die cast. And the wheels roll. They roll real good. So I got this, this cop guy. I don't even. I haven't even seen Car Three, but these are just super neat. Like black sports car. This was the first one I got. He's this weird RV guy. <laughs> yeah, he looks fun. Yeah, he's like a demolition derby guy or something. And he's he's actually got no um, like wax or paint on him so much. Like it's he's just like he's like a matte finish. Hmm. Like the rest of these guys all have like the shiny. Uh, shininess on them but that one doesn't so i guess that's, that's an additional detail yeah neat stuff nice. what i like about these is that on the back on the package in the square there's a code and the codes uh always let you know what's in there so neat is that it for pickups i think that's it for pickups wow cool that's a lot of pickups i made a mess so many pickups. <laughs> a lot of stuff i'm just dying to uh, get into actually Back over here, I've been trying to open all these things in the back. They're all backlog toys. What a, what a horrible notion. But I was like, this guy's taking up a ton of space, and I want to open them. I just didn't yet, but uh, Beast Hunter's Predaking. Oh, uh, is that what it is? Yeah, fat box, but the bot itself will be a lot smaller if I transform them. And then I'll have more space to actually put things. I'd love to have like more of these toys on actual shelves. That is the dream. Like all my shelves. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Exactly. All right, so that is more or less it for pickups. Ooh, lots of pickups, too many pickups, and that's where all my money went. <laughs> there goes my money. Uh, which means it must be time for our Camax Toycast exclusive segment called The Struggle, where we talk about all the things we didn't find. Um, not much to complain about this week. Yeah, I mean, uh, things are showing up. You know, we always mm -hmm. want the last couple things we don't have. Like you yeah. found sea spray, I have not. Mm -hmm. I've not seen a refill for that size class in a couple weeks here, but I know it's coming. It's gotta come. Yeah. Everyone's getting stocked up for Christmas, so yeah. Toy stores are getting full. Um, my Girls. Toys R Us filled right back up with most size classes. I mean, there's still like a thousand Galvatrons and a thousand six shots, but they're on sale this week, so hopefully those yeah. are all empty out. Our uh, local Toys R Us finally got in uh, Overlord. Yeah, I saw that. So I picked one up today, and I'm going to return it to Walmart tomorrow. <laughs> nice. <laughs> uh, I bought one from there when they got them in like a few weeks earlier, but the deals are always at Toys R Us. Yeah, I'm quite sure someone did that and uh, brought back a six-shot to uh, Walmart today because I haven't seen a Walmart in months there. They had no more Overlords left, but they had a six-shot. Mm-hmm. And then my Toys R Us is crawling with them, so I have a feeling. Yeah, I'm going to try and uh, screen share that picture I tweeted out. Nice. Screen share. Yeah. Boom. Can you see that display? Yes. Okay, cool. So, yeah, this was, uh, went, went to Toys R Us on my morning break and really impressive stock. Uh, let me see. We got some of those RC squeaks, uh, lots of movie bots, but uh, as we mentioned, there are some new waves. So there's Scorn up top there. And uh, he might have already sold out, but that's also the line where uh, Nitro Zeus is. Yep. And down at the bottom, we have the return of Trypticon and the uh, Cybertron box set again. The power of Cybertron or whatever. Yeah, I, I saw. I've got Trypticon at my store, and it, it's taking all I have not to buy him. Mm. <laughs> I'd sure like one, but I mean, the price and the size, they're both very scary. I, I don't know where I'd put it. I don't have space for the things I have already. 
I I will find space for him. It's I'm yeah. really hoping he goes on sale before Christmas. I'm sure he will, especially for like Black Friday and all that. Yeah, he goes on sale. I'm happy. Mm-hmm. So there we got the overlords there. That those just came in today too. So that's cool. Nice. And you can't see, but there's even more stuff to the right of this image. You can see in the corner there some R.I.D. figures. Mm, and be further to their right, there are some uh, Titans Return figures. Uh, Which wave did you get? It's that one with the Trigger Happy and Croc and Quake. Oh, okay, that's the one that showed up in my Toys R Us too. Yeah, it's weird. Like they just forgot they had them or something, and they're like, "Oh, that wave we barely ever put anything out for. Let's put it yeah. out now." Remember, I got those some of those figures from London Drugs of all places because that was the yep. only place I found them, and I've never. It's very rare that we see anything show up at London Drugs of all places. Anyways, stop screen sharing that. We're back. Uh, yeah. Uh, I'm just glad that Eva Leonidas showed up. That was the one I was most concerned about. He actually arrived really quickly. I don't know if it's a UPS thing. Well, at least he finally showed up after you waiting for him for, what, a year? Almost. Well, it's like a half a year. He was supposed to be shipped out in April or May. I've got a... Yeah, ships in May. Oh, okay. <laughs> so here it is in the mid-October. It is what it is. That's the third-party scene for you. Though. It's yeah. not even third-party. It's KO third-party. That's an unofficial, super-illegal page job. <laughs> I'm surprised there aren't more um, third-party Evangelion figures, though. I never see any of them. Uh, even Gundam figures, I've seen at least four that I could order in if I had the money for them, but those are expensive. Those I hear ones. the Gundam third-party market is pretty expensive, pretty big, yeah. Um, yeah. but it is starting to be cracked down upon pretty hard. So No. Actually, this is fun. Um there's one I saw that was uh, for the Gundam Quanta from Gundam Double O the movie. I'm oh, getting okay. into Gundam too, so be warned. There may be Gundam toys in the future. <laughs> uh, but to avoid um, legal issues, what that toy is is actually two smaller robots that combine to make the Gundam. <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> That's neat. So, in a way, it's like Gundam is now a transforming combiner. Who knew? <laughs> there you go. But man, those are like 200 plus for one figure around that size. and oof, Very, very nice details, but oof, expensive. Very expensive. Oof. I want one. I want one real bad, but at that price. Mm. Yeah. And there's this. Uh, I've seen. Tell me about it. There's this line of mini, like chibi Gundams that are yep. called NX Edge. And there's actually. Uh, it's a line band they does, and they've got assorted IPs. There's some Evangelion ones, some was it Geo Geiger, Geo Geiger, whatever, whatever random anime, Lazinger hmm. one, assorted small guys. Those are like thirty bucks around there, so I wouldn't mind ordering one or two of those and see what they're all about. More or less, once again, the uh, Legion size, but lots of accessories and articulation. So those are nice. Well, it's gonna. The biggest struggle for me is just I spent a lot of money at the toy shows. So now I got to be <laughs> real smart with where the rest of it goes before payday. What? Why do you think I would sell at the toy show so I could so I could have some money to spend there? <laughs> mm-hmm. But yeah, besides than that, just uh, like I said, finishing off Titans Return and hoping to have money to do it with. Uh, what? Um, I've been meaning to do some collection calling. Do you have any tips for myself and anyone watching, listening? When it comes to like bots that you're just like, why is this garbage in my collection? I want it gone. How do you decide what needs to go? Um, how I look at things because I have called many times is, um, I'll bring a bot out and go, do I enjoy this? Will I enjoy playing with it? Will I touch it again in another six months? If it's a no, it goes in the sale bin. Mm-hmm. Where would you sell them? Like local stores, like you, like you said, the toy show itself? Or? Uh, I would do toy shows. Toy shows is where I made my best money. It's also low overhead. You know, a table at a toy show will cost you 50 to 100 bucks, depending on where you're going. Um, where if you're selling on eBay, which I've done as well, it's a nightmare. Yeah. Lots you of have no required. protection, zero protection as a seller. 
So anyone can dispute you for, for anything, and you'll never see your toy or your money. Mm -hmm. I lost two pristine um, Beast Wars Rampages that way. Sold them off. Mm. Got good cash for each of them. They got disputed because they weren't as described. They were perfect in every way. No flaking, no scratching, no nothing. Mm -hmm. But eBay does nothing for the seller. So, yeah, I lost both those toys and had to pay to ship them out. So, Damn. yeah. Yeah, I'm not much for selling on eBay. I like yeah. local sales. So, yeah, uh, to friends or if there's a toy show around, that's a good one. Mm -hmm. Um, again, half the reason I'm going to this comic con, uh, on the weekend is really to scope it out and see what the scene's like. Cause I wouldn't mind having another big kind of thing close by that I could sell at. That'd be pretty nice. Mm -hmm. Um, I know a bunch of people sell at flea markets. I don't know. I don't think the market is that big here. in town. We didn't even have any flea markets around here that I can think of. Yeah. But other than that, um, Twitter is good. Selling bots on Twitter is good. You can get, sell true. some price, sell something to Twitter bros and mm -hmm. broettes for decent prices. As long as you're not charging over, you can clean out some good stuff. Mm -hmm. It's just the horde mentality you gotta get over, like stuff like this. <laughs> 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 to be fair, like uh, I took the head off and I took the arms off. The leg is still there. He can actually still stand. It's pretty neat. Yeah. But when I got this, he was missing a leg. It was like a couple bucks, and I snuck a GoBot in there too. I have three, uh, three of the forklift guy now. <laughs> because <laughs> why not? Yeah, exactly. Backup of a backup. Um, but yeah, like this, like I could keep the leg and make a Frankenstein a new bot. The you tail could. comes off, but uh, you know, at the same time, like I've still got that headless Combiner Wars. Uh, what is it? The uh, the big truck guy. Motormaster. That's the one. I love Motormaster. It's cool. a good guy. I've already got a proper one, but he's actually behind one of those stacks of toys in the shelf. <laughs> I can't even see him. Yeah. I gotta clean up my act in here. That's why I gotta I gotta make some cuts. Yeah, those junker bots I had a junker bin mm -hmm. uh, when I would do toy show of just bots that are broken or missing pieces or kind of floppy and old, and I'd sell them for a buck and they're great for kids. Just be like, Yeah, what a new toy. Exactly. <laughs> That's why I bought them it's just to alleviate work boredom. Yep. Would you believe I didn't even go thrifting this week? I was just like, nope. Can't. Nope. I don't want to find anything. I went enough. thrifting and found zero. Nothing. Yeah. I didn't want to find anything. It would be well, bad. Okay, I did say one thing. I found a weaponizer bumblebee, but I didn't feel like buying it. Yeah. 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 If, I, uh, if I sell a retro game or something for a hundred bucks, I'll go. I was thinking the Valkyrie profile. I think I had that on PS1. That's like a hundred dollar game. Nice. I did I'll ever play it. That's the thing. Is that there's so many games that I've collected that it's just like mm, I'm not gonna play it. I never. Yeah. yeah, that was me with um it was the first Xenoblade Chronicles for Wii. Mm -hmm. I bought it because it was on clearance. I'm like, I hear this is a good game, and I bought it for twenty bucks. And then two years later I had never played it, and it was like worth a hundred bucks, so on eBay it went. Nice. Yeah, they're back now, though. It's funny, yeah. funny that they made more. It's nice. Them. I've Selling got this. games on eBay, I've had good luck with. Really good I, luck with. I got this Fire Emblem for the Wii. It's just here because they have a, an ad for it, local ad. Here it's like 80 bucks or something. If someone wants to buy it. Like, you look at those. It's this ugly brown potato graphics on the game. Just like, ugh, <laughs> I don't want it. Please give me 80 bucks for this. I don't want it. <laughs> No, thank you. I don't care anything about Fire Emblem. New Fire Emblem Amiibo in game out today, though, so I guess that's something. Yeah, I suppose so. I saw some of the Amiibo today. They were with all the uh, Zelda ones up at Walmart. Mm -hmm. But I have... I'm not a tactics game player. Like Everyone's like, Final Fantasy Tactics is the best game ever made. I'm like, eh. Yeah. It's okay, yeah. yeah I'm I hear pretty bored of it. Too. It's not the best. I mean, it's not bad. It's good. It's a good, good genre. But, yeah. Oh, yeah. If you like it, it's great. I just have no interest. Yeah. <laughs> but all my time has been, well, all my video game time, which has not been much, mm. is playing Breath of the Wild again. Nice. We're, we still don't have a release date for that deal, so you do it. No, it's winter. Yeah, holiday 2017. Yeah. 
I feel they're just going to do another um, Nintendo Direct, and then they'll be like, and now releasing tonight, DLC 2, and then like, ah! Well, Internet it's going to be soon. The Amiibo for it are coming out. They just did a bre- big restock of the old Amiibo. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So it's got to be soon. Storms are brewing. <laughs> That'll be a good day. That'd be good. Oh, man. I don't have any money for anything right now, but man, those Amiibo. Aren't those I coming know. out pretty soon? Is that, is that the same day as uh, Mario Odyssey? I think so, yeah. Ooh, that's going to be a rough day for anyone shopping. My Mario Odyssey's already pre ordered. Oh, man, it's going to. I bet they're going to release more SNES minis that day as well. Oh, I bet. And I bet they'll release them in mass too. I hope so. I haven't got one yet. Once again, no cash for one if I found one. So maybe it's good that they haven't been restocked it because then I'll just see them not be able to have it. I knew the risk when I bought these things. Though. I mean, I you did. But when you're getting good deals for, you know, bots and boxes, yeah. it's pretty hard to pass up. Yeah, like these are. Look at that. Look at, look at that's a fucking toy right there. Look at that guy. That's a good toy. What a, what a boss. Look. That's a beefy ass motherfucker. It's fun. I got the red one. I've got Inferno. Don't have the grapple. Mm, yes. Was there a blue one as well? Yes, they did them as a uh, hotspot. Okay, I've seen um, I've seen the blue one online a few times. Yeah, I think he's uh, the blue one's doing the circuit for the. I don't even know their bootlegs, but I've seen like Chinese Hong Kong sites that sell a lot of this stuff. I've seen the blue one for a pretty good price. It looks usually they're good. sitting overstock. Okay, I could see that. Yeah. Blue one I wasn't quite feeling though because I do have the Combiner Wars one and then yeah that was pretty much those flames on the sign looks kind of cheesy. Yep. This guy, this guy's all business. He's got the little, he's got the little lights on him there. He's cool, cool dude. <sighs> yeah, mm. no, never enough space, never enough time, never enough money. The truest of all struggles. Not Alrighty, time except for tomorrow. Yeah. Tomorrow is toy time. Yeah, tomorrow is sleep until 2 p.m. time. <laughs> as I do. No, tomorrow I'm redoing shelves and I'm redoing a little bit of the office. So, nice. It's going to be a good time. Good times. All right. Do you want to talk toy show a bit? Do we have news? Yeah. Is, is there any news? I don't, I can't think um, of any news. The only thing I can think of is they were showing, or the only things that are kind of cool is mm-hmm. one, the re re releasing Fire Convoy from Car Robots. Yeah, that that's the that looks like a good toy. That is a good toy. I had the original. I don't anymore. Um, lost and removed, but good, oh. good, good toy. Mm-hmm. Really solid toy. Would like to get him again. We'll probably buy him again. <laughs> Do you think you'll get that one? Um, or is I hear that's some real expensive. It's real expensive, and I would be willing to pay for it. But I really don't <laughs> care about the Ultra Magnus that comes with it. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. Um, I have the Ultra Magnus here somewhere. Actually, he's in my sale box. He's not that great. <laughs> nice. Well, there you yeah. go. Man. You gotta. Uh, you, you, once you have it, you you look at it. You just you know. Yep. Uh, well, it's a huge parts former. It's a massive multicolored parts and. <laughs> I love I love that concept. I've got the uh, the mammoth mammoth big prime whatever his name is. He really big cowboy. Is. Yeah, that's the one. Big. Yeah. And the only other bit of news I can think of is the uh, leaked pictures for Masterpiece Barricade look pretty cool. Yeah, that's early Barricade, right? Like yeah, a- first movie, Barricade. Could be cool. I wonder if, yeah. um, as far as we know, they haven't confirmed or denied that he'll have his little frenzy buddy with him. True. I gotta admit, I picked up the uh, movie Optimus Prime, just the Masterpiece box, because it's at my Toys R Us now. And that is a weighty box. Hmm. I hear it's all cramped right in there too. Not a lot of space. Oh, I bet that's a small damn box. So yeah, I, I, I honestly be tempted by that one. I think the original movie designs have grown on me enough that I might get it if it was like closer to the sixty dollar range, not the hundred and thirty. <laughs> yeah, they want so much money. I know they need all the money. Well, these things have gone up. The price of everything's gone up. So oh god, yeah, what a horrible time. But that is a really cool looking robot. <laughs> <laughs> Are you going to get this one? You said you didn't get him yet? Um, still deciding. If he comes on a really good price, but 
He's not top of my list. I think the only real movie toy I want is Cogman because hmm. he's part of Titan's Return. In my That's eyes, cool. anyway. This guy, you can put the heads on him, too. I know, but... I put yeah, my favorite... Anything, it would this be... is my favorite head, Nightbeat, because he's <laughs> screaming... <laughs> I've seen many yeah. people use him for uh, Thunderwing, so... Yeah. If anyone, that would probably go on. I tried that, but it's some some heads just don't fit some bodies. Yeah. It's just weird. Does your um your the, uh, the 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 tiny head on the big head? Does he always sit on an angle? Like you yeah, find a... when it goes center, it doesn't like to stay there. Yeah. Okay. Mine's the same There's way. Just a little bump. It's weird. I don't like it. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I love that it's diecast. I love the diecast, but this doesn't need to be diecast. No. I know why they did it. It's like it's it's a feature, and he doesn't come in any little vehicle or vehicle or anything. But it's just it kind of screws up the whole. It doesn't it doesn't feel good. I am just hoping we get a uh, full blown uh, Thunderwing in Power of the Primes. I think it's mm-hmm. pretty apt. I could see considering that. he's held the mat- Matrix in the comic book. So was he in the the vote? I don't remember. He I mean, was in the vote. Okay. I think everyone in the vote will be there. I Pretty just much. hope. Well, here's one thing we forgot to mention. I just hope that we get at some point a uh, deluxe class repugnance to yeah. go with the uh, the grotesque that they suddenly announced. Oh my god, that grotesque needs to come out in Canada. Mm-hmm. That RC and mm-hmm. that grotesque, either Toys R Us or EB. EB Give games. Toys. I do need it. those toys. Yeah. Those oh, I want those toys. God. Back to my G1 boy again. I really like the colors too. He's he's got the the stupid useless G1 legs going on, but uh, <laughs> he is a good looking uh, good looking design. Um, G1 Repugnus's legs are much better. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even know this was a thing with a lot of the bots like that. Those legs, they don't. I can't. I can't make a walk animation. They're stuck together. Oh yeah. That's just the design. They are bricks. Oh yes. I'm just impressed his uh, his spark gimmick still works. Cool. Cool, cool. Uh, all right. I didn't gather any footage of the toy show, but we can certainly talk about it. Uh, let me uh, let me do my little presentation here again. Nice. Because I've actually been tweeting a lot of these pictures out already. Wait a minute. Hold on. Screen share. I do that, and then I click on this. I can't see it. It's fine. Let me just do this. <laughs> no. There we go. Oh, no, it's me. There. Can you see that? Yeah, I got her. Okay. No porn folders visible. Well, there's right. the one that's no. Yeah. <laughs> it's good. All right. So I just took some random pictures. So here's me at the Ages 3 and Up booth. <laughs> I like, would have yeah. bought that. A uh, little sound wave in a second. Hot soldiers one? Yeah. He's easy to find online. I mean, if you go... 25 bucks though, right there. Cash that's, money. That's easy. true. But that's, but that's 25 easy. bucks I can put towards Friday Despatron. It's true. It, see, I was always right next to Ages 3 and up when I was yeah. on the show. Yeah. So it was kind of like, yeah, you want to put that aside for me until I get some more cash? Mm-hmm. And they give me extra de- de- deals because I'd always have lots of bags and they'd always forget to bring them. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they didn't have a whole lot of interest in. They did have um, a double cross fans hubby. Uh, nice twin. What's what's the name of that one? The no, real. Twins. Yeah, double cross is right. <laughs> okay, yeah. Double cross they... is its original name. Okay, they had that, and eh, that's their price was a bit rough. But this guy mm-hmm. for 105 is pretty decent mm-hmm. on eBay prices. He's usually around 120 or so. Okay. So, saved a few bucks here. Obviously, as mentioned, I have yet to open them, but uh, really cool bot. Lots of features and bits. Uh, let's see. Here's a G.I. Joe thing. Fair random pictures, just stuff that looked cool at the time. Uh, I used to have a ton of G.I. Joe stuff. I had to get rid of it. Never had a lot of G.I. Joe. Had a couple. Mm-hmm. And so, this is what I was talking about before. You just get these tables where it's just stuff. Oh, yeah. So right at the bottom there, this is the reason I took the pictures. They have uh, things there. Totally hilarious, incredible, neat games of skill. 
Uh, I would have bought that, but the box is pretty jacked up, and then I wasn't sure if all the bits were there. Mm-hmm. But those need. I've got a few of them. And there's a Beast Wars Transmetal Megatron. I could use one of those, but their prices are a bit high. But just well, cool, that cool one's table. a little hard to find complete too because he suffers from some pretty serious cold plastic syndrome. Mm. I saw a few yeah. of them there, but yeah, prices weren't the best for him. He's a. No. I don't know if I really like that Megatron design all that much. It's okay. First one's probably the best. The red one's pretty good too, but I think the first one's the most iconic. We'll get a masterpiece one eventually here. True that. True that. Some Beetlejuice figures. Those were I used cool. to have the the one with the the pins. I had that as a kid. Those were a little pricey, but they're very cool to see that nice. Yeah, I, I didn't buy them. <laughs> Twenty five no. bucks. I mean, come on, come on. I'm buying like these these uh pretty neat bots for like five bucks, maybe ten bucks, and then you get twenty five bucks for Beetlejuice. Come on. And I had this one down here with the. Uh, the suit on, I guess that was his wedding nice. suit. I had all the cool toys. There's a little Star Trek diecast, you know, Star Trek yeah, Enterprise, you know, Sailor Moon pillows. Yeah, my girlfriend was big into those. She's like, oh my god, it's so cute. Mm hmm. Elf doll, Gizmo. Oh, Elf, love you. There's a Merlin phone over there. I think I've got one of those. Might huh. be a redo. Get a Star Trek shuttlecraft over there. Got a Mighty Max thingy over here. Can you see the mouse? You can see the mouse. Yep, I can see the mouse. Look, there's an E.T. in the middle. I see you, E.T. Mm -hmm. Okay, what do you think of this thing? Should I have bought this? I have no idea. That was big. It's like a super robot from I think it was from the early 90s. Hmm. It was big. This was only 40 bucks. But I didn't uh, borrow a car or anything. I was just walking there and walking back, and I did not want to have to carry this thing. It was big. See, there's a person's arm over there. <laughs> so I think there's there is the other side to it. This is the table that I bought a lot of these figures, like the uh, the reveal the shield guys. This was nice. my favorite table. Got some and... good things on that table. Mm -hmm. Some mods and ends. A lot of third party stuff. A lot of it was really well praised. Uh, oh. That uh, Assaulter there is one of my favorite toys of all time. This one? That one is one of my favorite toys of all time. Yeah, that was very heavy. Lots of He's die so cast. good. He's mm -hmm. got so much die cast. Yeah, He's that's basically right a, that's a broadside, right? Broadside, yeah. He's yeah. so good. He's so good. I think that was 40 bucks as well. Oh! oh so I, know. I know. I would have bought it on principle. <laughs> I know that's the rough thing about something like this is when you're living on a budget already, and then you oh, yeah. try and save up for toys when you buy a bunch of stuff. But there's so much other stuff, and you just uh, nice show. he still has that for forty bucks. You treat yourself; you will not be disappointed. Yeah, Despatron was my treat, right. and everything else too, of course. There's a gummy bear. <laughs> gummy bears. I think we're running out of pictures. That's the video I took, and there's my all my purchases. You know, cool. A good Wait, haul. That's my bed, and we're back. But yeah, no fun time. Um, like I said, I I could have borrowed a car to. Um, I probably should have. I didn't want to talk to my mom that day. I just like, eh. <laughs> she has a car. She's actually her place is on the way to where the toy show is. So I could have oh, nice. I could have stopped there, borrowed her car for a few hours, driven there, had stuff, have a car to drive back, back forth, and yeah, yeah. If I uh, just carry it, it's uh, helped me buy less. Because then that means I have to carry less home. I always came with uh, really nice shopping bags so I could carry anything weighty I bought. <laughs> yeah. I got these usable red bags. They're almost like a trademark for me at this point. Nice. So I've always got those on hand. Oh, there's Aussie. Aussie in the chat. We're oh, still going, Aussie. Awesome. He likes the OG Skeletor. Nice. OG Skeletor is great. Mm-hmm. Uh, but yeah, no, it's just fun to. Uh, I always love when the toy show comes around. Um, I didn't buy any game stuff. I don't even look so much in word prices. As I mentioned, are just pretty, uh, pretty rough. At the toy show, yeah, the prices are rough. I've got a couple games there that I found at decent prices, but most of the time it's pretty bad. Mm -hmm. Oh, hey, it's almost time for you to go. So I guess we might as well wrap this up. I, I was just gonna so. look. I gotta go. Go. It's gonna look for news, but uh, I'm I'm feeling pretty good with that. We showed off a lot of merch, and yeah, toy show always a fun time. I'm looking forward to the next one. Apparently, the next one might be two days too. So that's oh really? They're finally doing it. Yeah, I've been talking scary. about that for years. Mm -hmm. 
uh yeah all right so uh, once again if uh well thanks for joining us in the chat aussie and anyone who watches this when it is uploaded thanks for uh checking this latest episode out of the cat max toycast live this was episode 19 uh six once again tell the folks where they can find you and always at sx alpha all social media very good and i'm steven uh check me out on twitter at steven eider steven with a v e i d h e r if you want to see me play video games live check me out on twitch catmax underscore gaming all one word uh you'll see me playing gundam versus a lot on the ps4 as well as the last guardian on ps4 i might even stream that later tonight because i really want to finish that game Weird. And yeah, that's about it. So Essex has to go and let's shut her down, everyone. Thanks for stopping by and hopefully we'll see you next time. Bye everybody. Have a good night, guys. Good luck finding toys and things. See you next time. All the toys. <laughs>